Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ken Lerona, and I'm your resident career guide. Welcome once again to CG Live, of course, airing over Philippine Stars Career Guide page on Facebook. And we're also being streamed live at the Philippine Stars main Facebook page with over 4 million followers. And we would like to thank our OLEARN, um, our online learning partner called, called OLEARN. Thank you very much for your usual support. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to our very, very special episode this afternoon, bringing offline activities to the online world. The question this afternoon is, how do we party? How do we go to concerts? And how do we do yoga during this time of, of of quarantine and of course we are now transitioned to the general community quarantine but still you know um going going to events big events like like these are still prohibited or or are controlled so how do we go party also we'd like to know how do we how do we buy our um gadgets and gears all of these things will answer in this very very special episode of the Career Guides CG Live this afternoon. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you our guests this afternoon so we can start this very, very interesting conversation. Now, may I call in yoga instructor from Bliss Yoga Manila, Mr. Oliver Loyola. Oliver, namaste. How are you? Namaste, Ken. I'm doing good. How are you? I am well. Thank you very much. Uh, Oliver. Uh, let me ask you this quick question. How are you surviving this um, community quarantine so far? Um, so far, so good. We've managed to quickly transition from moving um, our classes in the studio to the online platform. And now it's just rolling and gathering moss. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's talk more about that in a bit. Oliver Loyola, yoga instructor from Bliss Yoga Manila. While we introduce the rest of our um, panelists, the next, the next member of our panel is a DJ. Very, very popular. He has lots of, he has lots of followers. And he's also the co-founder of Virtual Internet Party. Please welcome Mr. Mark Marasigan. Mark, how are you today? Hi, hi. I'm, I'm doing, doing great, doing great. How are you? I'm well, thank you. So, Kumusta Mark, how, how are you partying so far, given that we uh, have a lot of party? <laughs> well, it's, it's, been, it's been a tough uh, past two months. Uh, well, everybody's going online now, especially on Facebook. Uh, if you mm -hmm. notice, if you have a lot of DJ fans, you have a lot of them uh, doing live streams all the time. Uh, but we've been trying to adjust to the situation, uh, especially trying how 
figuring out how to monetize these things. But so far, we're okay. We're okay. Great to know that. Let's talk more about that um, in, in the discussion this afternoon. Okay. Mark, Mark Maresi, again, DJ and co-founder of Virtual Internet Party. Next is another very, very interesting um, guest this afternoon. I mean, we've, we've enjoyed a lot of concerts coming from their group, and we'd like to know more about uh, how they adapt to, to the new reality, the new normal. May we call in Mr. Bogi de Gia. He's the COO of Ovation Productions and founder of TapGo TV. Bogi, how are you today? Hey, hi, Ken. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. I'm good. How are you? Thanks for inviting us for, for this panel. Our pleasure, Bogi. Bogi, quick question. So, makaka punta pa ba tayo sa concerts anytime soon? What's, what's the... <laughs> What's the plan? Uh, well, we're still planning on how to transition some shows online. And of course, nothing beats naman live shows. No? So we're still, uh, we're still seeing how the situation goes. But uh, with the GCQ, and hopefully we go into MGCQ in the next few months, we'll see a semblance of normalcy in uh, live events. Yes, we want we want to now. Not they actually beat uh, being in, in live concert and you know experiencing all these things in real life. And yeah, I agree with you. Um, it's 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 for us to adjust to the new normal. We'll talk more about that as well um, as the TapGo TV. He'll tell us more about that uh, later. Yeah. But before that, let's introduce our next final uh, uh, panelist. He is the founder of LaptopKid.com. And I mean, Rose Neto, eh? and he's also the VP for sales and marketing for Mega Global Corporation, as well as the president of the Philippine Association of National Advertisers. My good friend, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Marvin Q. Lim. Marvin, how are you today? Hi, Ken. Hi, everyone. Thank you for the invite. <laughs> it's our pleasure. It's our pleasure, Marvin. So how are you? How are you surviving this community quarantine? Well, that Ken, today is our first day in the office. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my office attire. I don't think I've worn pants for the last two months. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first day wearing pants. But in the lab, it still fits. But we're, we're surviving. We're, we're getting back to work. You're getting back to work, and that's good to know. Keep safe, keep safe. But all right, um, may we bring in everyone in the, in, in the screen now, um, dressed? So we'll be talking about bringing offline activities to the online world. And we are being joined by Mr. Oliver Loyola, who is the yoga instructor from Bliss Yoga Manila, Mr. Mark Marasiga and DJ, and co-founder of Virtual Internet Party. And of course, we have Mr. Bogi De Gia, Ovation Productions, um, COO and founder of TapGo TV, and Mr. Marvin Q. Lim, who is wearing a lot of hats He's the founder of LaptopKid.com, VP of Sales and Marketing of Mega Global Corporation, and of course, the president of the Philippine Association of National Advertisers. And passing energy level. Okay, let's start with Oliver. Oliver, how did the, the crisis of COVID-19 impact the, the industry of, of yoga? How are you reaching out to your um, patrons right now, given that we are restricted in, in terms of our mobility and uh, doing social activities? Um, well, when, when the lockdown was announced earlier in March, around March 16th, it came really suddenly. We were not prepared to just close our doors and then everybody was just anxious, like, what's going to happen? Um, a lot of stuff were left in the studio. Um, but we were able to turn things around. Actually, just two weeks after the lockdown, um, a lot of yoga studios gathered together and formed this um, online yoga festival. We called it uh, Beyond the Mat, and we did, um, we contributed our time, our energy to raise funds for PPEs, um, to help support the creation of um, COVID-19 tests. And then after that, we slowly transitioned to doing our classes <clears throat> online. So a lot of studios now are actually offering yoga classes us in Bliss, we have Bliss Yoga Online, where we where we have around three live classes every day. And then we also offer streaming services <clears throat> where people can follow those classes uh, in their own leisure. Um, other yoga teachers are doing their own independent um, yoga classes. Like me, I have my own um, yoga classes on Patreon. So 
you can look right at Patreon, Oliver, the yoga teacher, where I upload around three classes a week as well. And then people can just follow their classes, choose whichever one they want to do. <coughs> Interesting. I, I'd like to know, Oliver, how how this has significantly changed the 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 way we do your yoga classes. I mean, it's it's different, of course, when you're doing yoga classes in the yeah. studio yeah. versus yeah. doing it virtually. How how difficult is it for you as instructor, and how difficult is it for 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 your students? Um, well, for me, the main challenge is the lack of group energy. Because I'm sure um, Mark and the other panelists will agree that our industries um, really hang on to the group energy that we feel when we are around people, like in a party or in a concert. Um, it's different when you're doing it on your own and then you have other people having fun with you. It just makes things more fun. <clears throat> um, so there's that struggle there. And at the same time, me as a yoga teacher, I can't physically see my students doing their poses, I can see if they're able to follow, um, if they're doing things right, if they are safe. So that's one of the hurdles. But we were able to adapt bit by bit. There's there's still a learning curve that we have to uh, go over. Um, we're slowly navigating online platforms where um, we can share music and we can share better angles of ourselves so we get a sense of togetherness even if we are apart. I, I like that last part that you said, says of togetherness, despite being apart. And I, I, I wonder, actually, really, Oliver, and then I, I'm moving to Mark, how do you transmit that level of energy from you as the instructor, from you as the DJ? How do you transmit that level, Mark, how do you transmit that <laughs> level of energy to your audience? What's your uh, well, the side it's, of, it's, of, it's, of it's difficult. Effort? To say mm -hmm. the least, it's very difficult talaga. Uh, it takes a lot of imagination. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, you only see faces or if that's Zoom, but in the case of Facebook Live or other platforms, you only see yourself on the camera. So it really takes a lot of imagination. Uh, ako, as a DJ, what I do is I crank up the music really loud para I can really, para I can imagine that I'm in the club or in a music festival or performing in front of people but yeah as you can see in the pictures our the nightlife industry is the very definition kasi of a mass gathering so <laughs> so talagang, talagang we rely on the energy of the people of our crowds of everybody's collective energy so it's really tough it's really tough yeah, Mark, can, can you quickly educate us how it's done? I mean, we know how to party in the club, but how do yeah. you party online? How how do you do that? Tell us. Uh, how, how okay. Yeah. Well, I can I already introduce VIP. Uh, we we sure, sure. kind of start. We kind of start. I kind of with two other partners, another DJ, uh, DJ David Argente, and uh, club host and promoters Nico Arbo. We started this company called VIP, Virtual Internet Party. Uh, so we broadcast. We haven't started the actual parties yet, but we've done a lot of pilot testing already. Uh, so we do exclusive parties via the Zoom app. Uh, so when you enter the room, there's a club DJ playing. Uh, and then we partnered with a delivery company uh, that can order alcohol from us. As we also as we also partnered with liquor brands like well, I won't mention them. Uh, we've also partnered with liquor brands. So you order the alcohol from us during the day. We send you the alcohol via our partner delivery uh, service, and then at night you log on to Zoom. We send you the Zoom link, and then we party. So basically, that's the structure. But and then during the Zoom party itself, our club host has different activities like drinking games uh, on uh, parang social experiments and, all. and then it's just not one room huh? when you enter zoom hindi lang siya one room you can also enter enter sub rooms like our vip rooms uh, so there you can mingle with other people because in the main room the idea is it's like the dance floor 
So when you enter the main room, it's just music. Everyone's naka-mute. So you can't talk to other people in that room. You just parang spy around and look around, parang ganyan, and then enjoy the music. Uh, just like when you enter a bar, diba? It's what you do. Tingin-tingin sa mga tao and all, check out the place, etc. And then when you finally settle down in your table, that's when you enter the sub room. So we're trying to simulate the actual experience into an online experience as close as possible. That's very interesting. I miss kutuli po muna sa mga clubs. So when are you when are you launching that mark? Uh well, we're just waiting to finalize our partnership with our partnerships with our liquor sponsors. Uh mm-hmm. kasi that's the key element to all of this. Eh? Um, mm-hmm. We've already closed the deal with our delivery service, so that's done. Um, we're ready with our platform, we're ready with all our equipment, etc. But again, the key is the tie up with the liquor sponsor. Because when that's done, then the, the entire experience will be complete. Okay, but great. We, we expect that to be we expect that to be done in a week's time. Today. In our each side, so we can virtually park even. Yeah, because um, we, we had we had we had difficulty then because of the ECQ restrictions. A lot mm-hmm. of LGUs imposed liquor ban, right? mm-hmm. So we couldn't deliver liquor even if we wanted to. So now that GCQ, then we're mm-hmm. free to move around. That's that's true. That's true. Everyone's waiting for that. Mark Marisiga, DJ and co-founder of Virtual Internet Party. Let's move to Bogi. Bogi. Um, Bogie is the COO of Ovation Productions and also the founder of TapGo TV. I, I have two questions for you, Bogie. One is that, what was the yeah. last biggest production that you've had for Ovation before the community quarantine was implemented? And, and how did it go? Well, the last uh, biggest production we did was last year, uh, in 2019. Uh, we, had a, we had a series of concerts uh, before December. And then this year, our biggest show was supposed to be Alanis, uh, April 6th. Uh, we didn't have the first part of the year. So for this year, there's really no uh, business for Ovation. Um, uh, our shows for, for this year have been canceled so far. So it's a big adjustment, um, but we're hoping towards the end of the year, um, we'll get a semblance of normalcy through some other shows, uh, maybe reduced capacity, and uh, some online shows. But uh, yeah, for this year, our Ovation has been greatly affected. Uh, not only Ovation, but also TapGo. Uh, TapGo is, we haven't fully launched it yet, but it's an online live streaming of live sports, video live on demand sports. for live sports. So yeah, so we own different properties of live sports exclusively for the Philippines, but now live sports is also on pause worldwide. So the only live sports we have now is WWE, and so far we're just showing all replays. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. And and uh, how are we, how were you affected? You you said there's no major production this year, but how big in terms of of um, impact on both your business um, bottom line and, and, and the whole brand <laughs> as a whole. How did this COVID-19 crisis, you know, um, ate up into your business body? Well, basically for, uh, for this year, like I said, um, there's no revenue uh, so mm-hmm. far for, for Ovation um, since we are, we ex- deal exclusively with live events like uh, um, um, we, we produce shows, we bring in we bring in foreign artists, we do shows. So right now there's no revenue so far. Um, we did ha- sorry, we did have some revenue, but we're slowly refunding for people who 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 can't watch for the new dates of the Atlantis anymore. Um, also um, for uh, but what's more the, the the people who are greatly affected will be the freelancers for our industry. Um, as you know, live events we don't have regular employees a lot of these people are freelancers you know we have you know the stage managers the, the technical people the lighting people and uh so far these are the the people who are greatly affected by this COVID 19. um mm-hmm. so so it's a new thing uh, we're trying to you know our, our industry was never we never had a formal association or group so right now mm-hmm. we're trying to form a a group called leap it's the <coughs> League of um, 
uh, live uh, live activations and producers. So we're trying to help our workers and freelancers to to get some you know um, some wage from the subsidy from the government. But yeah, but so far business is greatly impacted. That's that's true. I've I've seen a lot of of, of my friends also in the same industry. Na parang, um, what's what's gonna happen to them? Given that there are no more live events, uh, they're not that you know they're not that big producers such as you. Sometimes some of them would be makeup artists or or, or lighting person or tech person. So they're greatly affected by by this COVID nineteen crisis. And um. Quick question before we go to Marvin. Um, Bogi, did you ever consider, similar to what they did in, um, in, in, in the theater industry, that they streamed online their, their shows, did you, did you think of, of doing the same thing for, you know, maybe for the past, past events that you've had? Um, we are uh, exploring that option now. Um, our sister company, TapGo.tv, like I said, we specialize in live sports live entertainment and there's a pay-per-view option uh for that but the way the way the music industry the con live concert industry is structured it's very different you know um we have to pay uh music rights streaming rights etc and um you know and unlike the the producers themselves or the artists themselves when they stream their own show uh they're so close to them basically because it's their own property but for us, for us producers and concert promoters, for us to show these shows uh, on different platforms to try to monetize it, it's uh, we have to give a guarantee to this artist. So it, it, we we're, we're still discussing um, with artists and with um, different stakeholders and what's the best way to monetize such uh, content. But right now, the way it's structured, the business structure, it's. Uh, we, we just can't do it right now um, with the cost structures of the artists and uh, the the music rights holders, the publishers, and uh, even the uh, for for us we have the Philscap and AMP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just to, to uh, explain to our viewers why we keep on talking about monetizing is that because you know um, producing these major events cost a lot of money and and as bogey mentioned it, it it doesn't stop with just the main event itself it actually goes beyond that as you mentioned bogey there are rights and, and everything that you need to pay for to mount these events and you can just stream it um as easily as as the other producers can thank you very much for that bogey um let's go to marvin marvin let's talk first about laptopkid.com and before we go to your other friends for laptop kid Com. Can you tell us more about this? What is this business? Well, it's a, it's a business I first started in 2007 when I was still in college. So basically, I sell brand new laptops uh, in the market. So initially, it was only an online business. But in 2011, I started my first shop. Now I have a shop in San Juan. So we mainly sell gaming laptops, office laptops, any kinds of laptops that you need. And surprisingly, due to this COVID situation, a lot of people needed laptops that they didn't know about. So our sales went up. And I was very fortunate enough to, one day before the ECQ, I, I went to my shop. I told my employees, OK, uh, th this, this might last longer than usual. And I told them, OK, um, we can't keep the inventory there in the shop because we, we, we never know what the crisis will lead to. So I, I had to get a truck and bring all my laptops home. So I had to convert one of my rooms at home to a, my warehouse. So, and uh, surprisingly, I, I didn't expect to sell anything because I had to stop operations. I, my people couldn't come in. But surprisingly, day one of the ECQ, there's so many people wanting to get laptops. And we were one of the only ones that were open. So I had a rider that came and, you know, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I have uh, different involvements in different spectrums. I have a business that's not doing too well as well. Interesting, interesting. Because uh, I, I want to quickly uh, talk about how you transitioned from online to um, brick and mortar and back to online. Yes. Uh, what what motivated you actually to, you said you started this way back when you were still in college and you, you were doing this online. What motivated you to go brick and mortar? Well, um, if, if you don't have a physical store, the trust and the respect of people towards your brand uh, is diminished, especially back then where in the online stores weren't that 
uh, well known. So I was selling laptops in the back of my car, in coffee shops, and in parking garages, which you can't do now. Baka isipin matopanka or something. Pero I needed a physical space so that I could hire someone. So I didn't have to do everything myself because before I was doing everything myself. So the physical space, people go there, feel, touch the laptops. That's what they like. Yeah, and then right now, uh, when 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 everyone's going online again, it's actually there's a balance between your physical brick and mortar store and and doing online business. That's this interesting, a very interesting story there, Marvin. Now let's go quickly, quickly to your story for Mega Global. Mega is one of the mega brands during this community quarantine. How how are you making sure that you balance again both the on-ground logistics of it? Are you available online as well, Marvin? Yes, we are. Actually, uh, today is our 45th anniversary, so we just celebrated oh, our 45th anniversary on a Zoom. So we, call, we call it Zoom Zoom anniversary. So there is around 500, 600 of us in that Zoom call, and it was great. It was great. Uh, we transitioned early. I think back in 2015 when I came in. Um, I immediately started working on our online assets, Facebook, YouTube, and e-commerce as well. So you can see us on Shopee, Lazada, all the e-commerce platforms, and we're revving it up. Before, people wouldn't buy sardines in online because it was quite heavy. Logistics uh, ultimately cost more than the product itself. But right now, there's, there's a big shift towards online and convenience. People are willing to pay for it. That's interesting, no? I mean, people would 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 be used to buying um sardines the sari sari store but yeah. now i mean you can easily just click and get your sardines um, online and then lastly marvin you are also the president of the philippine association of national advertisers it's been in 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 the industry for over 60 years now close to 65 is that right and yeah. and how do you transition from the the usual brick and mortar conferences and meetings into the digital platform what have you done so far well i'm very fortunate enough to have you ken as one of my board <laughs> members as well and the board team of pana this year is like really outstanding that depth of their knowledge and experience is there initially pana uh, when the covid thing happened we we, we got shocked uh, we had a lot of brick and mortar events such as uh, concerts and uh, the awards. So we had to really adjust immediately. Then we shifted from uh, physical GMMs to uh, online ones, giving people more relevant content that is updated and that they can use. Again, like we don't want it, we don't want PANA to be another webinar. We want to be there for our members, to make sure that we guide them because advertising right now is really, it, it's, it's messy. We don't know what to do. So we're there to guide our membership on how to effectively advertise during this situation. So, for example, in Mega, um, a lot of people have been asking me, are we going to cut our advertising budget? Of course not. We're going to even add more because we need now's the time to communicate, empathize with your consumers. So hopefully the members of PANA can uh, realize that as well. Interesting. Interesting. I, I like that, that, that lied that you said you're not cutting your advertising budget but you're in fact beefing up more because we need to communicate and empathize more with our customers ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for, for staying with us um we are discussing uh bringing offline activities to the online world and we are being joined of course by oliver loyola bliss yoga manila instructor also with us is Mr. Mark Marasigan. He's the DJ and co-founder of Virtual Internet Party and Bogi De Gia, CEO of Ovation Productions and founder of TACGO.TV. And also we're being joined by Mr. Marvin Kulim, founder of LaptopKid.com. He's also the VP for Sales and Marketing of Mega Global Corporation and the president of the Philippine Association of National Advertisers. I would like to encourage everyone to please send us uh, uh, shout out greet, your greetings um, on the comments section so we can flash them here on our screen. And if you have questions to our panelists, please do let us know. Send them in at the comment, comment section. Let me go back to Oliver. Oliver, given, given all of these challenges that, that you've experienced because of the quarantine, because of the COVID-19 crisis, how do you how do you make sure that you are ready to transition once 
of course, today is the beginning of, of the GCQ, wherein it's a bit more relaxed, right? But we are still mm. waiting for the time where we can do um, the, the, the school activities, or the, even the yoga classes we used to do before the community quarantine. How do you make sure that you are very much prepared and that the, 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 the yoga <coughs> students are more um, uh, confident that they will not get the virus in, in, in your studios? Well, right now, looking at the last guidelines by the IATF, um, we were categorized as Category 4, so we're not even allowed to operate even during um, MGCQ. So that's kind of a bummer. So what we're looking at is continuing our online platforms when we are allowed to eventually go back uh, to the studio. Um, of course, there will be a lot of adjustment. Um, like class capacity can be as full as before. Um, we have to limit physical contact. We have to limit sharing of equipment. Um, although in the yoga studio, um, sharing of equipment isn't so much um, of a problem as it is in a traditional gym where you have you know weights and stuff. Um, it's the confidence that's a little bit tricky to you know establish because we don't have control over what people feel. Um, we're only here for them to guide them. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is have our online platforms um, go together um, with our a, a live studio in case uh, we get to that part. Such such a challenge. But I guess um, what we can do yeah. right now is just to adjust as, as much as we can. And yeah. of course, safety first. It's a yeah. right, Oliver. Yeah. Um, one thing <clears throat> also that I think most yoga studios are really trying to do right now is to just survive. Um, a lot of yoga studios aren't really big businesses. A lot of them are small to medium-sized businesses. And um, not everybody gets like a rent holiday. Like th th those in the malls are very fortunate to have a rent holiday. Um, not every yoga studio have the same luxury. So I've heard of some yoga studios who have closed their spaces. So that's a little bit sad. Um, but at the same time, as we shift online, I think one of the best things that we can do right now is to really just survive, um, keep it going, even if it's in a different platform, so that when we are able to go back and you know, be with each other again, um, we have something to share and we're not, you know, kind of dead yet. Yeah. And, and, and also, Oliver, there's a, a, a question here. If you can pull up Jess, coming from Anadel Ashado. Um, she's asking, in terms of charging fees for your participants, do you charge less or more than the usual rates given these, um, you know, you've, you've transitioned, you've pivoted to the online platform? What's your it's, charging it's rate? Definitely, it's definitely a lot less, like a fraction of what you would pay in a normal yoga studio, mostly because, um, say, for example, you pay 500 pesos for one class, um, mm -hmm. for, for yoga class, you won't get the same energy you won't get the same benefits. You don't have the same atmosphere that you would get uh, in a yoga studio. Also, we want to make it more um, accessible for people. A lot of the yoga students that we're getting now are actually first timers. Um, they haven't done yoga before in their lives, but now that they're stuck at home, um, mm -hmm. they have nothing to do. And now that they're discovering that, you know, this is something that they can add into their schedule and actually make their lives a little bit less stressful aside from just you know workout also helps them calm calm down and manage the anxieties of this whole situation yeah it, it, indeed because what what we also need during this time of crisis is to take care of our mental health and yoga meditation is is one of the things we can do to keep our mental health um <clears throat> up and healthy no my friend um oliver my friend love uh Taralba is saying hi <coughs> she knows you now oh hi <laughs> hello <laughs> thank you for watching love um just there's one question for dj mark can we pull it up there from brian miharis cardenas this <clears throat> is for um, oh, wow. dj mark how do you how do you make and come through virtual DJing, um, that's for you. Um, okay, uh, well, as I've said, a lot of DJs are already online right now. Uh, mm -hmm. They've been live streaming their music via Facebook Live, a lot of them. Of course, there are other platforms like YouTube, uh, Twitch, etc. 
industry. But the real challenge, kasi nga, like, like the question insinuates, is how to make money out of it. Uh, to be honest, there are more challenges than opportunities. Uh, like for instance, I think it was mentioned earlier by Bogina, when you play music online, there are copyright issues <clears throat> with Philscap, AMP, etc. So you're not really as free as you want to be when you perform. Uh, there are restrictions like Facebook will take you down after 20 minutes, 30 minutes by playing other people's music. So it's really hard to charge people for it uh, when you get cut all the time. Um, mm -hmm. Also, there's also the challenge of uh, how to charge properly. Because uh, you don't give the full experience as in a full as in a real club. So, marame ang ginagawa is just para if you're enjoying the music, they just put a, a caption that if you're enjoying the music, give us a tip or whatever. Ganyan, para transfer to this account or GCash or this and that. Uh, and a lot of us are also doing it for charity. Uh, so, we help out other organizations to raise money. Ganyan. But for personal gain, it's it's really, really, really tough. Um, that's why we thought of uh, a different vehicle of doing it. Because if you just broadcast on Facebook or on other uh, any other platform, it's hard to make money out of it. It's virtually impossible. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think a lot of a lot of people are are, are um, not not so aware that you and the party industry and the live events industry are actually um greatly affected by this by this crisis that we are in right now you sabi mo nga medyo mahirap pag monetize um similar to bogey kanina marami rin mga freelancers and other people who are in, in your industries like for example in the club your 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 bouncers your waiters your servers and all that how will they survive um and how are they surviving given yeah. given that you're not earning anything? Anong ginagawa nila? Uh, well, yun nga, actually, uh, it's good that you raised that kasi I'm also a club owner. Uh, so mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm directly affected talaga. Uh, I own a club in QC called Urban QC. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have a lot of waiters, bouncers, servers who are out of jobs. So fortunately for us, uh, our landlord was kind enough to give us a uh, breather. So, mm -hmm. hindi kami sinisingal na red for the past two months because mm -hmm. of the ECQ. But that's us. Uh, others are not as fortunate. Um, I know a lot of other bars and clubs who are already uh, thinking of closing uh, for wow. good. Um, and a lot of their employees have been retrenched. Um, ano eh, there's really no income. It's zero income. Um, Transferring online is a uh, little more than challenging for a lot of bars and clubs. Kasi nga, like Boogie said kanina, if it's not the live experience, and it's hard to charge people for, for it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Before we go to the follow-up question to that to that mark, no. Can I just quickly go to Bogi? Bogi, yeah. you know, you mentioned earlier that there are a lot of other people in your industry that who are very much affected, like the freelancers, um, some some other talents and so on. How do they survive? Anong anong para anila para maka survive? And how do you think should should our audience right now um do to to help and assist? these people uh, how to survive i think it's a uh, mm -hmm. uh, number of factors though um uh they should try to learn a, a new skill uh uh for now but um you know in, in the live events industry the freelancers are very specialized skill which you know makes them earn a, a good <clears throat> living so it's it'll be hard to for them to recreate the amount of uh, wages they earn in a different skill. But um, but now since we're transferring to an uh, online world, uh, we still need the uh, people who can um, transfer these uh, experiences online. So for example, um, if you are a 
cameraman for for the live show, you can actually help and do um, a, a post production for for the online show. There's still some ways to for the people to make wages, but uh, for now it's really tough for them. Um, there's this really zero um, zero revenue for the companies, and there's really and now we. You know, we try to pay our employees as far as we can, mm -hmm. but uh, with the with the GCQ, um, there's still no live events happening. So it'll it's it's tough moving forward, really. Um, though we do have shows planned out for for the fourth quarter of this year, um, we've been negotiating that. You know, we're telling uh, the artists that Manila will be safe by then. Uh, we mm -hmm. have protocols. We we actually. Um, We've been talking to IATF for for some guidelines and how to do shows safely um, again during MGCQ, but uh, yeah, everything's on pause for now. Yeah, everything's on pause as of now. But then, what 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 we're hoping for is that in the near future, your industry will be allowed to to be back in business again. Make quick question about yeah. Vogue because I'm very much interested. Mm -hmm. What will happen to the Alanis Morissette concert? <laughs> we are um that's a a lot of people are asking about that show mm -hmm. you know um we are looking at november this year for the new dates you know um you know people don't realize that when these artists they tour it's they, ju they don't just come to manila you know they they look at other countries as well to make it worth their while so um alas had to postpone a string of shows in australia and asia so now they have to they have to get everyone on board and find the perfect schedule for um for 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 them to resume tour uh, starting November. So yeah, so we're looking at end of November for the rescheduled dates. Hopefully by then um uh, the new normal will be safer. Um you know the protocols that uh, we propose and what DOH proposed will be effective. So so yeah, but you know uh, as a concert producer we. We won't push it, you know. I mean, um, though this is our main line of business, we're not going to hold the show if we deem it unsafe. You know, we, we won't uh, try to twist the arm of I IATF or DOH to say that, hey, you know, we can do shows at 80%, 70% capacity if we're not ready for it. <clears throat> so, um, you know, we're not after, you know, when we do shows, we... We, yes, it's it's a business, but we do this because we like people to have fun. You know, we 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 find joy in seeing people experience their live artists. Um, you know, um, they're to see their idols live on stage and to experience the crowd, to experience everything. And um, but of course, at most we we want their safety as well in any show, even for the COVID nineteen, we we take safety very seriously. So yeah, so. We'll only start doing shows once uh, again when when everything is safe. When everything's safe, that's when you will have um, another another set of shows again. Let me miss that, man. Yeah, uh, Bogi. <laughs> and, yeah and, 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 and actually, <laughs> and I guess everyone's looking forward to that, given all of these, you know, um, experience that you've had in the past seventy days. Na parang nakulong lang tayo sa bahay. We need to go out and need to. To, you know, party and 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 you know, go back to our normal lives again. But of course, as we move move along, um, habang wala pang um, gamot, or wala pang vaccine sa COVID, we need to be we need to be considering safety first always. Now we go to Marvin. Marvin, I, I am very much interested. Some mega sardines um, in 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 this brand, because um, you're operating across across the Philippines, is that right? Mm -hmm. And where is your main plant? And how do you make sure that everyone is safe and, and, and um, you know, uh, free from, from the infection in, in your operations? Across the, well, even when, when the, the quarantine started, how your product was in demand um, for all the Ayuda, for, for everyone. And then as we move forward, how do you make sure that everyone is safe and, and, and healthy? Yeah, so thanks for that question. So our operations are mainly in Sumbuanga. Sumbuanga is a sardine capital of the Philippines. So 80% of our 
canned sardines in the market come from there. So our fishing, our canning, our whole, whole of our operations are there. So we did a lot of measures to make sure that everyone is safe, social distancing. We, sh uh, we shuttled the employees to and from the plants. We made sure that people in the Laot, which is uh, somewhere in the Sulu Sea, don't come back to the land and mingle with the people. Because there are uh, a, a large number of cases there as well. But uh, thank God we were able to keep our premises secure, hopefully, and continue to do so. So we do have operations nationwide. Uh, first thing we did was we evaluated um, everyone's needs. What did everyone need when the ECQ hit? So number one, we had our own mega ayuda. Uh, we gave uh, goods to all of our employees immediately the day after to make sure that they and their families would remain safe and uh, remain uh, fed. So what we did, we asked everyone to work from home. Uh, now, again, it's officially our first day back, but uh, we're following the IATF guidelines by 50% of the workforce. So we're, we're doing now altern alternating work from home schedules. So we, we, we got a lot of insights from the webinars that we attend, which is something good about this, is that there's an onslaught of free information, free learning. So mm -hmm. we attended a lot of that because that was really important to help us make decisions to how we move forward now. So in a lot of our processes have gone online. So now is a period, if you want to impact change in your organization or in anywhere there is, now is the time to do so because everyone is forced to change. So a lot of our activities are happening online. We have a lot of events that we were supposed to do in the malls, um, a lot of launchings that we do online now. So I think uh, there is always an opportunity in every crisis and it's just us being out there, being agile enough to take on those opportunities that can help us really pivot towards the world's future. I, I like how you put it, Marvin, that it's for every, for every crisis that we're facing right now, for this major crisis that we're facing yeah. right now, we're getting a lot of opportunities actually to, to change. And, and, and this major crisis, in fact, of what, I, what I read in some memes is that Sabila not it's not this, the chief technology officer now that has forced everyone to go online and go digital, but it's the crisis that has forced everyone to, to go digital. All right, I guess we have a question um, for DJ Mark. Can we um, pull it up, Jess, so we can ask um, DJ Mark? All right. Okay, sounds fun. Who are the DJs that can possibly play for the virtual party? <laughs> Come from Jen Jen. Uh, well, of course, that's just me. Uh, David Ardiente. Also, we plan to invite uh, the most popular ones like Ace Ramos, uh, Cat DJ, Cat Silly, uh, all the big guns. They're all at home <laughs> waiting to perform for all of you guys. <laughs> That's that's interesting. So if ever there will be announcements on, on this, where do we they, where do they go? Um, uh, you can you can follow us uh, on Instagram. Uh, uh, it's at Virtual Internet Party. Um, we focus on Instagram muna, because our parties are pretty much exclusive and targeted, naman. So there. Interesting. interesting. <clears throat> I hope to be able to join that party when you're. So yes, when yeah, you're for, for sure, for sure. I invite all of you. All right, great. Oh, yeah, si Bogi, na. He's, he's been asking for, for that the uh, liquor delivery partner. All right, um, <laughs> maybe one round of, of, of questions to everyone just before we pull in another set of questions from the audience. Oliver, my, my question to you is, is there hope? Because, I mean, for, for our employees watching right now, for, for, for Raquetero, for everyone who's, you know, whose livelihood is affected by this COVID-19 crisis. Is there hope na parang kailangan ba, na, kailangan ba natin ng konti pa at mas masigasig na diskarte so we can survive uh, the impact of um, the COVID-19 crisis to all of us? What can you say? What, what, what can our um, friends, our audience who, who are feeling na they're feeling down kasi apektado yung kabuhay nila? But then my question to you is, Meron pa ba tayong hope? Anong magagawa natin, Oliver? Well, as your teachers, you always believe that you know we have to stay positive. We have to stay on the positive side of things. Um, of course, there is hope. There is hope if you look for it. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's also important to acknowledge that it's a difficult time. It's also important to acknowledge that 
um, we're feeling bad, we're feeling frustrated, we're feeling sad, because mm. there's no moving on from that. You have to really go through the process. But through mm. it, um, you have to find sort of the silver lining. You have to sort of, uh, one of my um, um, co-teachers, actually the studio director of Bliss Yoga, Isabel, um, always tells us when you're faced um, with a difficult situation, you always have to ask, what's the lesson to be learned here? Um, and in my case, the lesson was, how, how do you change yourself? How do you make yourself relevant to the changing times? Because we can't stop change. It's just going to be there. It, it, it may be this time, it may be in another time, but we are forced to evolve. And this is one of those times where a lot of us are collectively called to evolve with the times. And if we don't resist um, that call, if we give in to um, that calling to just be a better version of ourselves or to be a different version of ourselves, then definitely there is going to be hope and we'll be able to make it through it. That's right. That's right. I mean, now is the best time to evolve talaga. Kasi if, if we don't, if we don't evolve, parang mapag-iiwanan talaga tayo because of, of, of the, the challenges that are brought in by the, the crisis right now. Mark, what about you, your industry? Parang some people would think, ah, wala, malulugmok na tong party industry. But yeah. then we're hmm. seeing you doing doing something that's, you know, yeah. unique and, and, and making sure that you still survive and you still find a new niche where you can still go on with, with the business at the party. Anong masasabi mo, yeah. Mark? Well, you know, Ken, kasi alam mo, when you're faced with a crisis such as this na para overbearing, no? there's mm-hmm. just two ways to go at it. Either you you suck and complain and magreklamo ka na lang all day. Uh, but the other way is, you know, find something that you can do para how do you, how do you overcome this? Uh, and I guess I'm proud of a lot of co-DJs na friends of mine who have really parang reinvented themselves. Kasi nga, since there's no opportunity in playing in the clubs and festivals and all, they've really reinvented themselves. So, ginawa na nila, there, a lot of my friends are now selling stuff online, uh, cooking food and delivering to homes, uh, even selling protective gear like face masks, etc. So, there's no shame in that. Uh, if you're, I mean, if you put if you're doing what you can do to put food on the table, then I respect that. Right? Uh, there's really no point in forcing something that can't be done. Because uh, a lot of there are some who, unfortunately, still just keep on complaining. Na parang, when can we go back to normal? When can we go back to this? But that's not possible anymore. Uh, right? Like it's the new normal, guys. Eh? So what can you do? Diba? To face that new normal, you have to be a new you also. Diba? I, I, I like that, Mark. Very, very strong statement there. And also, I want to go back to that statement that sabi na, sabi mo na there, there are uh, some people, some some of your friends, the DJ, who, who start selling something, start cooking something. Yeah. And, you know, just, there is no shame in that. I saw yeah, a meme. There, is. Actually, there really is no but, shame but, in that. I, I mean, I, I saw a meme that parang oh, bakit ka nagbibenta? Wala ka na bang pera? Dude, I mean, no, you haven't tried selling and yeah. the, 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 the pleasure and satisfaction when you make a sale. And you know what? And you know what, Ken? You know what, yeah. Ken? A lot of them are also rediscovering or discovering things about themselves that they didn't know about before, di ba? Na parang, ay, galing ko pala, mag, galing ko pala magluto, galing ko pala magbenta, di ba? So it's a, it's a, it's a really you know, uh, refreshing, uh, there's a refreshing aspect to it also. That's true. That's true. Sabi nga ni Oliver kanina, can we go to um, Bogey Bogey? What, what, what lesson are we learning here um, in, 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 the, in the crisis? Um, and, and what, anong diskarte kaya ang, ang magagawa ng ating mga kaibigan, you know, to survive this? Instead of sabi nga ni Mark kanina, instead of just complaining, ano pwedeng gawin nating diskarte, um, Bogey? Uh, I, I agree with Mark, though. Um, I think it's this is the time we have to reinvent ourselves. Um, you know, like what Mark said, I see people complaining, lockdown pa rin, di tayo makalabas, can't go to work. 
but yeah, we have to reinvent ourselves. We have to look for a way to, like Mark said, put food on the table. Uh, we have to keep on hoping that things will be better. We have to hope that um, things will eventually be back to normal uh, in the coming months, maybe end of this year, early next year. But I think right now we we just have to keep on learning. You know, um, I think it was Marvin who said that there's a, a trove of fresh uh, of online classes and uh, um, courses and lessons that you can do and um, learn and take up a new skill, you know. Um, I think this time, of, this time of the pandemic, it's more about surviving. Um, people who, people who um, you know, back in January or February and they resigned because they want to, you know, uh, pursue that passion job or to look for that you know, something that, something that uh, their dream job. Now they're encountering a, a world where there's no new hires. I mean, I mean, they're in the market hires in the tech industry uh, for deliveries, logistics, and uh, warehousing. But for the dream job, it might not be there. So um, there's there's no shame in the learning a new skill, uh, selling things online. Um, I know someone who works for a big multinational and now she's uh, baking cakes, very good cakes. You know, I, I, I see some people um, doing um, online lessons. Um, they picked up, uh, um, he's a sound engineer and now he's doing online lessons and whatnot. So uh, right now it's about us surviving and hoping and at the same time, we need to reinvent ourselves, you know, just not you know, uh, be close-minded and say, no, this is what I want to do. No, we have to look for something that that can provide food for the table and something that can uh, help other people as well. Yeah, That's true. This is also very important, Bogi, because, uh, I mean, when, when, when we talk about earning for ourselves, we do it for ourselves, put food on the table. But also another important part of it is how do we help others as well while we earn a living and just before i go to marvin quickly i'd like to to insert this in the conversation because uh, some people would think that param selling gawin. and to me myself i keep on reminding myself si sm nga nagbebenta ng turon eh ako pa kaya diba eh, hindi na patulang ni sm yun eh and, and they're you know multi billionaires marvin what about you what's what's your recommendation to our career people na parang Given this situation, how can they make more discard and continue to survive and, and evolve in this um, new environment? Yeah, thank you. I, I think Bogi just said it right now. Um, learning is very important. And the people that I look for are always, uh, I, I want them to continuously be learning and continuously be changing. I always say that the faster you learn, the faster you grow. So that's very important for me. And also, I think if there are opportunities out there, like for example, here in Mega, we're aggressively hiring new people because uh, we want to hit the ground running and we're blessed to be in an industry that has uh, gained from this crisis. And we owe it back to the Filipino people to make sure that we contribute. So don't worry too much. Don't listen to all that negative news. Try to zone it out. Keep yourself informed, but don't let it eat you up inside and in your mind as well. And um, for us, uh, we, we are ready to give back to the community, give back to the business. We're, we're reading for action as well. So I think big businesses, small businesses are really there. They're just waiting for this crisis to die down and pivot. So don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. That's important. Sabi nga ni Oliver kanina, if you feel like your anxiety is kicking in, mm -hmm. just do yoga. All right, um, Jess, I think we have one question for everyone. Um, and this is coming from the audience. If you can pull it up. There. Oh, hi. Our suke, partner the clue. Question, what contingency measures do you come up in the new normal? I guess um, one quick answer from everyone. Let's start with um, Oliver. Well, for us, we encourage everyone to really stay at home. Like, mm -hmm. don't leave. Um, if you can make everything work for you online, then keep it online. <clears throat> um, just go out for essentials, basically. Mm -hmm. And just keep on hoping that we'll be back. Um, mm -hmm. But to be able to be back, you have to make it through this space as well. So keep safe. Keep safe. Keep safe. All right, Mark, yeah. what about you? 
Well, as far as the nightlife scene is concerned, uh, right now what we're doing is we're trying as much as we can to help one another. Uh, so since all of us practically don't have our usual jobs, so we find other ways to help each other, like uh, if someone's doing this, so how can I contribute to that? Uh, yun muna, uh, staying safe, staying healthy, that's all we can do right now. Uh, and like what Marvin said kanina, find opportunities, uh, learn new things. Um, I guess for the scene to, to go back to normal, that's a little bit far pa from now. Uh, so we do what we can right now by just helping one another. Muna. We do what we can by helping one another. That's that's very important. Bogi, on your side, what can you say? Well, contingency, I think uh, we all need to do our part. And, uh, you know, we can only beat this uh, virus if we all do our part. And that's just to stay home. Right now, we have to stay home. Uh, we have to flatten the curve. Um, you know, if you look at the the graph of infections in the Philippines and compared to other countries, we haven't really flattened the curve. We're just somewhere there. So, um, you know, if we don't flatten the curve, if we keep on going out, um, we're not helping each other. Right now, we just have to help each other, stay home, um, keep your family safe, and then things will be better. Things will be normal. Um, the things that we look for in life will, will be back, you know. We, we, but we will bounce back together as long as we do our part. We'll bounce back together as long as we do our part. That's that's also very very strong, Bogi Digia. Um, Marvin, what about on your side? What well, can you say? I uh, what I wanted to convey was we have to focus on positivity. Uh, we mm -hmm. there's a lot of negative information out there and things that can really get us down. But if we focus on positivity, we focus on hope, we focus on the future. I believe that's what will get us through together faster. So just keep on being positive to yourself, to everyone around you in your life. I know it may be hard for a majority of us to remain positive, but there will always be something to be thankful for to be grateful for and just remember that and it's good that you know we're still alive breathing you know uh, we take a lot of things for granted so yeah, in my opinion just focus on positivity just focus on the positive things in life and avoid being positive with the COVID-19 virus. That's that's very important. That's very important. You know what I like about this panel this afternoon, gentlemen, is that you know it's 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 amazing how everyone is so positive. How it's amazing how everyone is sharing the, the kind of energy to our audience and making sure that you know, telling them that there is hope. Do lang, it's totally fine. There is we will go back to our normal, new normal lives. Basta mag-ingat lang tayo. But let us never ever kill that, that, that fire of hope deep within our hearts. Maybe let's, let's ask our panelists right now for their final words. Um, ulit tayo, starting with Oliver. My question Ooh. here is, how do, we, how do we make sure, okay, We've, we've we've enjoyed our you know offline activities before we've enjoyed parties before we've enjoyed concerts and stuff before and and, and now that we've been contained in our houses for seven for a little over 70 days and we're still restricted to, to go out and you know do those parties and stuff and even the yoga classes that we did before how do we make sure that we live life to the fullest as we go out to the new normal? Oliver. How do you make sure? That's a good question. How do we make sure that we live life to the fullest? Um, we have this um, saying in yoga, um, <clears throat> to really become aware of all the things happening within you and around you. Um, to live life to the fullest, you have to appreciate the sound of your breath, the feeling of your breath, the feeling that your body is going through. Um, stop looking outside for external happiness, <clears throat> but start looking within and start to really appreciate the things that keep you alive. Um, my mom um, used to say that the most important things in your life uh, will be the ones who's going to be there for you when you're at your lowest. So 
turn to those people, turn to those activities, and really appreciate them and make it the highlight of your day, if not your life at the moment. I really, I really like that um, answer, uh, Oliver. Because eh, sometimes some of us would, 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 would get drowned in the negativity. Sabi ni Marvel kanina, yeah. negativity of the news, the stories that are happening around us, and then sometimes our anxiety is even um, emphasized, given that um, we are contained so in one location. Yeah. Oh. Tapos, you know, sometimes we feel like. Ano ba tong, ano ba tong buhay na to? And, and I like that, that, that answer that you just shared um, with us. Oliver Loyola, he's a yoga instructor at Bliss Yoga Manila. If they want to, to know more about Bliss Yoga Manila, where do they go, Oliver? Um, they can follow us at Instagram. It's at Bliss Yoga Manila or also in Facebook, Bliss Yoga Manila. Um, we also, I also have online classes at Patreon. So it's <coughs> Patreon um, slash Oliver the yoga teacher. Um, you can sign up um, and subscribe. We, you can stream our classes or follow it live. Great, great. Thank you very much, Oliver. Now let's go to Mark Marasiga and DJ and co-founder of Virtual Internet Party. Mark, what can you tell us? How do our friends live life to the fullest after this, you know, community quarantine? Uh, well, Ken, sabi nga nila, um, What's the point of life if you can't live it, diba? So, mm-hmm. I guess the key really is to appreciate what's there uh, in front of you. Not look for the things that are impossible, that are not uh, available. Uh, appreciate what's there. If if you have your loved ones around you, if you have your uh, passion, you can still do what, you can still listen to music, you can still watch shows online, whatever, gives you happiness, then go for it. Uh, so that's why we at Virtual Internet Party, we're trying to create something that can, at the very least, parang somehow provide the closest experience to what we usually did before uh, so that we can still make people happy. Because at the end of the day, it's all about, I mean, life is all about happiness. Uh, if you're not happy with what you're doing, then why live at all? That's that's right. No, always chase happiness and go after happiness. So, hindi ka na masaya. Eh, bakit pa ba ginagawa mo yun? What's the meaning of life without happiness? No. All right, great. Thank you very much, Mark Marasiga, and DJ and co-founder of Virtual Internet Party. Where can they follow you again? Can you share with us? Uh, we, you can follow us at uh, on Instagram at Virtual Internet Party. Uh, you can also my follow my personal page on Instagram. It's at Mark Marasiga. And on Facebook, it's at Mark Marasigan Music. Yep, you have lots of followers. I, I also follow you. All right, <laughs> thank you, yeah, thank you. Thank you very part- much for having me. I, I hope to, to party with you again um, virtually soon. Now let's go to Bogi the Gia. Bogi, what can you tell our audience? Um, what can you share to help us you know, live life to the fullest? Well, um, right now you have to really just Count your blessings, you know. Um, enjoy your time with your family. Um, enjoy um, enjoying the blessings that you have, you know. Um, like what Marvin's saying, so healthy, you know. You just have to uh, not leave, uh, live in fear. You just have to keep on hoping. And um, yeah, that's how to live life in the first I mean, you know, some people, they think going out, partying, or, you know, eating at a, at a new restaurant or something is living life to the fullest. But right now, with those activities curtailed, uh, living life to the fullest is um, enjoying what you have, your family, uh, and um, and your health. For me, that's living life to the fullest now. Indeed, indeed, that's true. Uh, health is wealth. So, if we're healthy, how can we live our life to the fullest? And of course, we have to be thankful for our loved ones, enjoy their presence, and uh, be there for them as well. Now, Marvin. What's your tip to make sure you, you're wearing a lot of hats? You're founder of LaptopKid.com, you're VP for sales and marketing for Mega Global Corporation, and also you're the president of the Philippine Association of National Advertisers. And dami mong hats. How do you live life to the fullest? That what can you share to our audiences? Well, my basic belief is that if I'm in a situation wherein I'm not comfortable, that means I'm growing. 
So I'm always trying to put myself in situations that I'm not comfy with. So that's, I believe, uh, has been a guiding light to what I do. So always mm-hmm. try new things. Stay positive, of course. I smile, smile a lot. But always try to be uncomfortable so that you can grow and really expand yourself towards different directions. I like, I like that idea because most of us are saying, I am not comfortable with this anymore. Baka iiwasan ko to. But you said you want to make sure that you feel uncomfortable because that's a sign of, 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 of your growth, no, Marvin? And tell us where they can... Oh, sorry. Can I go back to Bogie Muna? Bogie, where can we find you? Where can we follow you? Um, both for Ovation Productions and um, tapgo.tv. Uh, on Instagram, you can follow Ovation at, uh, at Ovation Pod. And for Tapgo, it's at Tapgo, Tapgo T. And uh, of course, our website is ovation.ph and tap, tapgo.tv. Great, great. All right. What about you, Marvin, for laptopkid.com, uh, Mega Global, and Pana? So for Laptop Kid, yeah, you can visit our website, laptopkid.com. And uh, I also have a business selling trucks, autokid.com. For Pana, you can wow. visit our website and uh, our Facebook pages. We're constantly updating that. And for Mega, hopefully, we're in your uh, Uda package. So you can open up that plastic bag and hopefully we're there. <laughs> there are a lot of memes going around for for Mega. Very, very good. Very, very good process over the the quarantine period there for Mega. Um, Marvin Tulin, thank you very much for our guests. Uh, thank you very much for your insights, your wisdom, most especially, and your energy that you've shared with us this afternoon. Thank you very much to Oliver Loyola. He's the yoga instructor at Bliss Yoga Manila. Thank you very much. DJ Mark Marasigan, he is, of course, the co-founder of Virtual Internet Party. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your insights and your stories. Bogi Gia, he's the CEO of Ovation Productions and founder of tapgo.tv. And of course, we'd like to thank our very good friend, Marvin Q. Lim. He's the founder of laptopkid.com, VP for sales and marketing, mega global corporation, and president of the Philippine Association of National Advertisers. This has been another very interesting um, episode of CG Live over here at the Philippine SARS Career Guide page. And we talked about bridging offline activities to the online world. And please don't forget to join our promo, get a chance to win one of the um, five gift certificates worth 2,000 pesos, um, care of Watson's. Uh, just go to our face official Facebook page where we are airing right now. It's called Career Guide um, page. Like and share our hashtag CG Travel Goals post that are pinned on our official Facebook page. Your privacy setting should be set on public. Answer any of these questions. What are your travel essentials? Who are your favorite people to travel with? How many places in the Philippines have you been to? What were your travel goals before the lockdown? And tag three friends to make sure that your entry is valid. Share a photo of your favorite travel moment for more chances of winning. And the deadline is today and winners will be announced in our next episode on um, June 8th at 12 noon we have another very interesting episode um that day and of course you can still get a copy of the philippine star at 7-eleven alpha mark all day mercury drug and a mini stop subscribe to philstar subscribe.com to have your physical copy or avail of your free 30-day e-copy trial by visiting e-paper to philstarmedia.com thank you very much everyone my name is ken lerona your resident career guide. Enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy the rest of the week. Maraming maraming salamit po. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching.